promise to repay you in full. If you wish to repay me, tell me where I can find the Flame of Olympus. Flame? <laughs> you will never defeat Zeus, Spartan. <clears throat> you will forfeit your life in trying. Of all the lives you should worry about, Helios, mine is not one of them. Feel the power of the sun! Zeus, you must step into the flame to receive its power. You lie, Helios! Hephaestus told me the flame kills all who touch it. And you believe him? That freak has fallen from the graces of Olympus! That is exactly why I believe him. My death will not lead you to Zeus. That is where you are wrong. <laughs> Totally and completely blew my mind that when we got back to Helios in the town of Olympus, after, you know, Kratos shot him down in the first place, that they remembered to put in the Chains of Olympus reference. I mean, no disrespect, Chains of Olympus wasn't a horrible game by any stretch, but it is the weakest in the series. What's interesting about this boss is that by the time we get there, he's essentially dead, and the only thing keeping him alive is his phalanx with unbreakable shields. So what does Kratos do? He pulls a new power out of his ass and smashes Helios to pieces with it. As it turns out, this power is named Ogre Riding. If Santa Monica had done some better animation work and made it look a little better, it would have been a perfect part of the whole deal. After his phalanx and steed have been crushed, there's only a small satyr brigade to finish off before Kratos can finally get to Helios and continue his deranged path of revenge. It didn't matter if Helios told Kratos where the flame was, he was still guaranteed death. I suppose that Helios did give Kratos what he offered, since he was dying of blood loss and couldn't have possibly helped him, but that being said, being killed by the decapitation was a step too far. Well, Kratos now has an infinite flashlight he doesn't need. You are a monster, Kratos. Think about it. <laughs> 